Hello guys, we're back. You know the vast machine? That's all right, man. The vast machine, what are you doing with? Guys, we're back. And today we're making oxtail stew. Now, I have quite a few recipes for oxtail with different flavors, a combination, but this is the easiest one. Um, that you can just throw in your onion and your meat and throw whatever you have in the kitchen, but just cook it long. So I've got some oil in the pot and now just standing on the other side, my elder sister, and she's gonna just add the meat to the oil that's very hot. Okay guys, the meat is browning nicely. Woo! Woo! Not so messy. And now Nadia is going to chop the onion. And you don't have to chop it small because this meat is going to cook for a long time. Depending on how big your meat is or the quality of your oxtail, um, minimum um, hours is three hours, max four to five, depending how big it is or how tough it is. So this will probably go for three hours. And it's gonna, it, I can smell the browning of the meat already. There's a smell you get and when it's ready to turn, and when that is brown, we're going to just throw the onions on top. And what I use, I use uh, pickled ginger in my um, oxtail stew. It really, really does the trick for me, tenderizes it nicely, and just has a beautiful flavor to it. You can, of course, use fresh ginger. I also use uh, the dark soy in this one, and in this recipe, we're gonna use some dried fruit as well. Garlic, not much to it. And then when we finish it off, we serve it on a nice savory rice with some fresh coriander and some sesame seeds. So now it's just the browning that's gonna take place and we'll be right back. You also know it's ready to turn when it comes loose very easily from the pot. You want that dark, caramelized. We know we're making a stew. When you make a curry, it doesn't have to be this brown. Right, Nadia? Yes, people. yes. It doesn't have to be that brown. Yes, we're making a stew, guys. Oh, look. Okay, as it, as it depends. Yeah. Okay. So now we leave that go as well. So everything, all the sides, every part of this oxtail is nice and brown. Okay, this is done. We're gonna add three onions, just roughly chopped. Six um, garlic cloves goes in as well. We've lowered the heat a bit just to create some moisture. And another thing I'm going to do is to put that in there. And then again. Now you're gonna add that pickled ginger about um, just throw an olive, you know. About a couple of tablespoons. Is and that's that what the you know? where the sushi is. Mm -hmm. Oh look at this food. It's called fire and fire. 
En zout in pieper. Niet te veel zout in pieper, dat er nog een skin aan de akkel zit bij het hooi. until it's brown, then we're gonna add the soy sauce and um, water, we're gonna cook it for about two and a half hours, then we're gonna add our dried fruit and cook it until everything together until the meat falls off the bone and then we serve it with our rice. You can serve it with um, mashed potato, with papa, with anything you like. You can make Oxtail curry, if you like. We, we're probably gonna do another video of that, Nanadi. Yes. A nice oxtail curry with a liquor. What would you like some of your oxtail curry? What would you like, Nadi? A rice. That's not your rice, but the soft one. Okay. But liquor has cooked it. Oh. A roti. Or a naan. Oh, a roti. A roti, Sammy. Yes, sure. It would be really nice. Let us see, hello for the Hello everyone. I hope you're all well today. This As you can see, I'm very happy today with my sister cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who like that? Is this? Can you come out from the back? Yeah, come out from the back. Okay, guys. The Ava, the onions is also a little brown now. So now. We're going to add a couple of tablespoons of the dark soy sauce. If you don't have it, you don't have to throw it in. This just gives extra depth of color and flavor. There we go, that's enough. And toast. We're just going to stir it again. Look at this. Mm. You also notice I didn't put any chili in. Because we're gonna throw it in now. Okay, so that's part one. We're gonna do part two later on. Mm. So that's okay, guys. The oxtail have cooked nicely. Look at that. Now we're gonna add this wind for about three hours. We got a really wild. And you, it's normally a different smell when it's a, a nice wild um, oxtail and you're going to have to cook it a bit longer. Ne? Now we're going to throw in the dried fruit. Go. You can add as much or as little as you want. And the heat will go on a bit. Now this is going to cook. Gonna add a little water and this is gonna braise slowly for about um, about half an hour okay and we'll be right back okay guys it's been half an hour and it has simmered nicely a nice deep color there and braised and look at that yummy in my tummy we're gonna dish this up now with some rice um, sprinkle over some spring onion or chopped coriander and some sesame seeds and we'll be right back okay guys here yeah, the oxtail is done so now I'm gonna just sprinkle over some dania look at that and some sesame seeds looky looky 
Ja me in my tummy. <laughs> Look at that. Deep, rich. Oxtail stew, easy peasy. There's some beetroot. And some sly, whoever wants. And there it is. Simple and easy oxtail stew. Very, very easy. All you need is some patience. Absolutely delicious. Make it for any occasion. Nadia and Sherry, are you guys ready to dish up? Oh, yes. Are you ready? <laughs> and there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll be back again with another video soon. Bye, everyone. Love you, guys. Loveys, loveys. Guys, come dish. You can come dish. Looky, looky. Look at that. Yummy. Had you any skippy in idea? Yeah, no, Bismillah. No, poor cream. Little lipo cream. Hala lipo. Yo, yo, yo. Oxtail. So now I'm going to take a piece.